looking at all the beautiful artwork. Yeah. Mayor London Breed was all smiles and an event and Manny's in the mission tonight. You were the highlight of that movie. There to talk about the positives of San Francisco. She left without answering any questions from the media. After clarifying earlier today, statements she made on October 5th on a KQED show. There are unfortunately a lot of people who um, come from a particular country in Honduras, come from Honduras, and a lot of the people who are dealing drugs happen to be of that ethnicity. She went on to say she wasn't racial profiling, that it was the truth of the matter. The backlash wasn't immediate until the video began circulating. Some people angry, accusing the mayor of singling out Hondurans. Others posting support for what she said. Today, the mayor issued an apology, saying in part, I want to apologize to the Latino community for what I said and how I said it. In trying to explain what is happening in the Tenderloin, I failed to accurately and comprehensively discuss what is an incredibly complex situation in our city and in Central America. I accept the apology only because we know that she meant well. That's president of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Carlos Solorzano, who says the chamber's research in 2018, done in eight blocks of the Tenderloin, showed most drug sellers were juveniles from Honduras, there to make money to send back to their families. But he says there's a big but, especially in today's cultural climate. We also have to understand that with not naming only one ethnicity, that is not good enough anymore. With all the turmoil that we have with, between the Latino community, the African American, the Asian communities, we need to work more together. So we need to be more conscious of what we say, what we point fingers, especially on that. In San Francisco, Gia Vang, NBC Bay Area News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.